Sangre aí. Tem essa sangre. Yes, it is blood, said a neighbor at the apartment complex in Riverdale, where 23-year-old security guard Riyad Al Janabi was allegedly murdered for the sports car he loved so much. He posted pictures of it all over his Facebook page. Does that case haunt you like it haunts me? And 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 uh, are, are are you promising to the, his family that there'll be justice? Does that case haunt me? Yes. But I can tell you there's so many cases that haunt me uh, because this is my community. Prosecutors say there were nearly 100 more carjackings in Prince George's last year than the year before. And the county is on track for another violent record. I can't let my son go to the park because I'm scared he might get shot. Our future. Our street, our future. Our Outside the Upper Marlboro Courthouse, the state's attorney announced a new task force to try and stop carjackings. It comes the day after federal prosecutors announced their own region-wide carjacking task force. To some people, I think it begins to sound, okay, it's another task force. What gives you hope that this task force is going to make a difference? Well, those task force are really made up of law enforcement agencies. Our task force is made up of the people. Yes, we have law enforcement partners, <laughs> um, but, but we have community leaders. Those leaders will have to figure out a way to reach young people. Prosecutors say last year they charged 41 juveniles in carjackings. This year, they are already on track to beat that tragic record. In Upper Marlboro, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.